do it together. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Come sure. on over. Come okay. on over. I know my wife will be watching. I'll be there, Dan. All right. All right. Okay, we're going to move to the top of the heat next right now. Bethany Frankel's bitter custody battle. Emotional courtroom testimony from the former Real Housewife as she unleashed a barrage of shocking charges against her husband. ABC's Morris Cavacampo has the details. Happily Ever After is now Happily Never After for reality TV star Bethany Frankel and husband Jason Hoppe as details from their heated divorce battle are now public. In court Wednesday for a child custody hearing over their four-year-old daughter Bryn. It was one of the most uh, tense, emotional, uh, really no filter from Bethany. She just let everything hang out, um, and it was raw emotion. According to the New York Post, Frankel tearfully testified, saying Hoppy threatened to go after her public image after she told him she wanted a divorce, saying, quote, I'm going to destroy you, and I'm going to have you and your publicist crumbling and crying in the corner. Hoppy also reportedly telling the canceled talk show host she was, quote, already losing fans. In her testimony, Frankel reportedly admitted Admitted to calling Hoppy disgusting and white trash. Though emotional on the stand, Frankel told Bravo host Andy Cohen she'll get past this. You don't get more than you can take, and right. you just you keep moving. And you just say, I'm going to come out on the other side, and I'm going to realize why this all happened. Much of Frankel and Hoppy's relationship has played out in public. Really saying to me, I you're going to you. end up alone. Saying to me, you're going to damage. Their marriage, honeymoon, and even the birth of their daughter all appearing on reality TV. Frankel, also the entrepreneur behind Skinny Girl Products, is worth an estimated $55 million. Because Bethany Frankel's asking for sole legal custody, she did not want to participate in an equal parenting. I think her position is, I'm more suited to take care of this child, and I'm not going to willingly give up 50-50. We reached out to lawyers for both sides, but they declined to comment. The Post reports that in her testimony, Frankel said she wanted to settle things quickly and quietly with Hoppy, but reportedly he refused, saying, quote, we're going all the way, baby. Buckle up. For Good Morning America, Mara Schiavocampo, ABC News, New York.